Hello and welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Superman hand positioning. Superman as you're lying on your stomach, your hand forwards, and doing hand wrist imaging. The reason for making this video is because it's more like a follow up for my previous video where I talked about tips and tricks regarding hand wrist positioning. And there were in the comments a lot of people asking, what do I usually do if you're doing Superman? What kind of registration you're using? Just recently, I found this. Have you seen this before? I've never seen this before. It says Superman positioning, like prone, supine, and elbow. So it's very cool. Nonetheless, I did some tests today. So if you were interested, stick around. Let's see if they make any differences. Huge thing. Head first, supine, head first, prone, Superman positioning. Let's go. For those who are new, my name is Black again. I'm an MRI with Argo for in my channel. I'm covering things from basic to advanced summary topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, is that there were so many questions regarding what kind of registration I would use if I did a Superman positioning. So I did try multiple tries here just to, to let you know how the high would turn out whenever you're choosing this, that, or this. Let's check the results. All right, patient registrations. So whenever you're doing a hand wrist, like a Superman positioning, you have a multiple choice, head first supine, feet first supine, or you can do special orientations. Let's check what it is, like I show you. So here you have four different options, Superman wrist supine, Superman wrist pro. So I did a few tests here just to see how the results would be when I was imaging the left hand. Check the results. So I did three tests here, just simple um, hand wrist imaging. So first of all, I just want to say sorry for bad positioning of this healthy volunteer we just had a small room of available time so I just put my colleague in we did a fast test just to have these results to show you and you can see here the coronal it's a T1 tubus but echo it's a sagittal and then it's a transversal this is the left hand usually whenever we are looking at the uh, human anatomy the hand is like standing down like this right so what I really want, from my opinion, that I really want to look when I'm taking the left hand, this is the left hand, left hand on the image. So whenever I'm taking the left hand, I really want to look straight into the palm and not on the front. Okay, I want to look in the palm like this, not like this. So this upper row here looks correctly, from my opinion, because you are doing a left and then you are looking straight into this um, direction. This one looks a little bit flipped and wrong. And the low row looks the same as the first row. Okay. So what kind of registration did I use here? Okay. Superman wrist prone gave results like this, which is in my opinion correct. Head first supine looks flipped. Head first prone looks the same as a Superman wrist prone. Why did CMS made this available as a option as a Superman wrist pro? I'm not sure. But did it give any different impact? From my opinion, uh, no. But it make it easier for people who are not used to do this kind of positioning. Because if you have an image like this, you can see the patient is lying with the hand forward. And it's easy to understand Superman wrist prone compared to what should I choose? Head first supine, head first prone. So I think it's just to make it easier for all the users to use that. Uh, however, the most important thing is that you need to talk to your radiologist. What, how does he or she wants to look at the images whenever you are taking images of the hand? Uh, at least now you know how the images would turn out. So remember, this is the left hand, okay? Left hand. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, it was surprisingly fine in this special option uh, with four more registration options and nonetheless it's just i think it's just to make it easier and one thing i forgot to mention is that the thing i show you is from the xa software from Siemens. on the e software i'm pretty sure that is no option available there 
on the older ones. I'm also sure that it's no option because this is all new. So it's available at Rack say. So if you're interested, check it out because it will make it easier for users who don't do this kind of examination that much. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Do you know about this option? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll get a ding ding whenever new videos from me are coming up. Bye, catch up with you in my next video. Until then, take care and peace out.